Hello guys! Welcome sa ating Zinalage TV. Sa AutoCAD video series na ito, I will introduce you the CAD software. Ang tutorial na ito ay para sa mga complete beginner in AutoCAD who has absolutely no knowledge to this software. So, dito sa AutoCAD video series, mag start tayo sa basics. Pag-aaralan natin ng AutoCAD user interface. Understanding the units, making basic drawings, we'll use object snaps to make precise drawings, working with layers and blocks, working with dimensions, and last, we'll print our drawing. So, lahat ng ito ay pag-aaralan natin dito sa ating tutorial. Pero, before tayo mag-start, don't forget to like this video and click the subscribe button para ma-notify kayo sa mga next videos. So, let's get started. Sa ating previous videos, natalakay na natin ang move at copy command. So, we could easily modify our existing drawing. Kaya kung hindi nyo pa napapanood o gusto nyo ulit balikan yung mga naunang videos natin, pwede nyo i-click ang link sa description box ng video nito. Okay? So, sa video na ito, we will describe how to use the rotate command to rotate objects in a drawing. Bali dito, you will learn how to use the rotate command using the default option. And also learn how to use the reference and copy options while rotating objects. So, this lesson also describes how to rotate an object using grips. Okay, so let's start in our third lesson on how we can use the rotate command to rotate objects in a drawing. So, you use the rotate command to rotate objects in the drawing. Command options enable you to, rot command options enable you to rotate the object simply by entering an angle for the rotation or by defining a reference angle and then entering a new angle for the reference angle. If you need to make a copy of the object while rotating, you can specify the copy option. When the copy option is selected, a copy of the object is rotated, leaving the original object in its current position. You can also use grips to rotate the object. So in the following image, so two chair objects are being rotated with the copy option. So, take note. So, options for the rotate command are accessible from the shortcut menu. Right-click anywhere the drawing area while the rotate command is active. So, command-specific options are always in the middle of the shortcut menu. Okay? So, these are the guidelines when using the rotate command. So, first, Rotate the original object or use the copy option to rotate a copy of the object. So second, the base point for the rotation should be on or near the object being rotated. This is critical because the base point represents the point of rotation for the selected object. So third, when appropriate, use polar tracking for accuracy and to speed up the process for defining the rotation angle. So last, so use the reference option to refer to the angle of the object that you want to change. You can enter the angle of that object or specify that angle by selecting two points to determine the angle vector then entering the desired angle. Okay, so let's proceed first on how we rotate objects with the use of rotate command. So, the following steps provide an overview of rotating objects using the rotate command. Okay? So, so para magamit natin yung rotate command natin, create mo tayo ng ating object na i-rotate. Yan, so create tayo yung circle. And then, create tayo ng... Another object na mag-determine na nag-rotate yung ating object. Okay? So, 
pwede natin makita yung ating rotate command dito sa ating ribbon ulit under the modify panel sa so, ating rotate or pwede yung gawin nyo i-type nyo yung buong pangalan nya rotate rotate okay, rotate or pwede yung row okay so yan, so press enter natin So next, uh, select natin yung object na ating i-rotate. So since sa magkaibang object itong create natin, so pwede tayong gumamit ng selection window. And, and then, press enter natin. Okay. Then, specify natin yung base point for the rotation. So the object will rotate around this, of this point. So, kung saan mo uh, sinelect yung specify yung base point mo, dun siya i-ikot. For example, dito natin i-specify yung base point natin. So, dyan, siya, dyan yung magiging uh, reference angle natin, yung pag-iikotan niya. Okay? So, yan. So, dito sa ginagawa natin, so... Napakita niya kung ano mag-i-itsura kapag rotate mo yung object mo. Okay? So, kapag na-specify mo na ito na yung magiging orientation niya, bago orientation, so, pwede mo nang i-click yung iyong mouse. Ayan. So, nagbago na yung orientation ng ating object. Okay? So, next, let's proceed naman on how we rotate objects with the use of grips. So, first, select natin yung object yan so then uh, right click natin anywhere in the drawing then click natin yung rotate yan so same pa rin specify natin yung ating base point let's say ito naman yung base point natin so click natin yan then ikot ikot na natin So, dito, pinapakita na yung bagong orientation ng ating drawing. Okay? Then, press the... Okay? Then, kapag na-determine mo na yung orientation na gusto mo, so, click mo lang yan. Okay? So, to, may bago tayong orientation ng ating drawing. Okay? So, that's all. So, sa next video, we will discuss on how to create a mirror image of our existing object. At para sa iba pang videos na gusto nyo pang maunawaan o malaman about sa AutoCAD, so huwag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click ang bell para maging updated kayo sa ating mga next videos. So maraming salamat!